Um, so we have a four by four piece of plywood and we want the dimensions to have a ratio of 1.7 width to, for every one foot in length. And so we're gonna measure out um, 3.5 feet width-wise and we're gonna measure out two feet going lengthwise. foot by two foot board so a would equal 1.75 and B would equal 1 so then our a squared would be equal to 3.0625 and our B squared would be equal to 1 and then so then our equation would be x squared over 3.0625 plus y squared over 1 is equal to 1. And then to find our c, which is the length of our origin to our foci, we would do a squared minus b squared. So a squared minus b squared equals our c squared. So in other words, 3.0625 minus 1 would equal c squared c squared equals 2.0625 and c is equal to 2.0625. So overall our ver vertexes are 1.750, 0, -1 and then other points are 0, 1, 0, negative 1, and our foci are root 2.650 and negative square root of point zero. Okay, so our foci, they are the square root of 2.0625 away from the origin. So the square root 2.0625 is 1.436. So that means it's one foot and 0.436 of, of a foot. So 0.436 of 12 inches gives you approximately 5 inches. So our fo foci is going to be 1 foot and 5 inches away from the origin. So to draw our ellipse on the board, what we did was first you take the ellipse and you have your two foci here. And let's say there's a point right here. Uh, the, to the point, the distance is from the first foci to the point, and then back to the second point, which uh, would be the same as 2a, because you have this distance, and then you have this distance, which is the same over here, which this whole thing across is 2a. So to connect a string and draw our ellipse, we made the string 2a feet long, which is 3.5 feet long. What it is, I don't know, but for the holes, check for holes, make your eyes, won't forget, just now.
the perimeter of our ellipse is approximately nine feet. And so we have this cool tubing right here. And you're gonna want it on the middle of the of our ellipse line because you want the ball to hit on directly on the side where, where your ellipse would be. And so if you have it any further out, it would hit under or it would hit too far past the ellipse. You wanna have it in the middle here. We have to draw a rough outline so we have enough room to put the tubing on. that's a little bit bigger than this golf ball. So, and then to do that with our power tools, we're gonna <laughs> drill, <laughs> we're gonna drill a couple of drill bit holes, and then we're gonna elongate that with our saw. So now we're nailing nails into the board, and they're gonna come through the other side, and then we're gonna flip it over, and we're gonna place our bumper on over the nails. Nope. Okay, so now we're attaching the nails to the middle of the bumpers. So now we're measuring out the felt, drawing the line. Glue. So that and we can attach the felt. felt. Should I cut it? Um, I have it. So now what we're doing is we're cutting an X um, where the foci is, or the focus? The, the hole. The hole. So that we can fold it under. <laughs> 